Also new tonight, our one on one with New York's top cop. We're riding the rails with the police commissioner as her department wrestles with the challenge of trying to keep New Yorkers safe on the subway as the fear of crime mushrooms. I would news reporter Josh Oniger live tonight in Midtown with the exclusive Josh. And Bill, we were the only TV station to join Commissioner Keechan so Sewell on the six train here behind me as she saw firsthand the twin priorities, both very important underground. First, of course, keep driving crime down, but second and almost as important to make strap hangers feel safe. Tonight, Eyewitness News was along for the ride as the city's top cop went underground. Police Commissioner Keechan Sewell touring a subway station where a teen was assaulted over the weekend and riding with New Yorkers who all have an opinion. Do something about the crime, guys. Do something about the crime. What did you learn today? I learned that we have more to do and we're here to do it. It's been a rough two weeks in the transit system with three murders, two in the subway and one on a bus. The NYPD, which already flooded transit with hundreds of cops since the beginning of the year, just today surged nearly a thousand more, focusing on 15 train lines in 20 stations. Obviously, we're concerned about the safety of New Yorkers. The subway has to be safe. I remember taking the subway myself to go to school. The people who go to school, the people who work in the city, and this is the lifeblood. It has to be safe. The irony is, statistically, the subway is as safe as it was before the pandemic, with, on any given day, an average of three million riders and just six so-called major crimes, things like robbery or assault, throughout the entire system. We have increased officers on trains and platforms so that you can ride safe. But when it comes to strap hangers and their safety, perception is reality. So the commissioner's voice is now being broadcast above station platforms. And cops say conductors will soon announce the presence of officers as a train pulls into a station. We have to make people feel safe. And that's what we're trying to do. Every day, every hour, every train that we're on, we're trying to make people feel safe and make them safe. They want to feel safe in the subway system. This is what they're telling us every time we ask them. Riding these trains, seeing commuters, and letting them know that we're here and we want to address their concerns is very important to us. And a big part of this, of course, is the act of solving open cases. And the reason that they were here at the sixth stop on 51st Street is because on Saturday afternoon, a 17 year old was set upon by a group of six suspects who beat him and kicked him and stabbed him. Police have released these images of the suspects and they're hoping for help in catching them. They do believe the suspects knew the victim and the victim in this case, fortunately for him, was not seriously hurt.